We're back here in the final segment of the platform today and uh, speaking with Professor Rudolf Tinker and uh, Mr. Louis Georges. Gentlemen, I've been to Haiti and I've seen the two sides. I've seen the two categories of Haitians, rich and poor, because there's no middle class in Haiti. And I've seen the lifestyle of the poor and deprived there is a resentment in the Bahamas on that particular lifestyle. The lifestyle of the Haitian who lives in the shanty town, who doesn't have uh, running water, who doesn't have good toilet facilities, who doesn't have the accoutrement of life that other people have. And Bahamians are resentful of that particular lifestyle and they believe that it is bringing a level of social degradation to this country I agree and don't you think that is the case of trying to survive especially if you just got here you're trying to survive so they are doing what is in their means to survive if they can't afford anywhere else coupled in with the fact that coming from Haiti these the persons are not educated or informed or even know that they were doing something wrong. You know, they come up in that lifestyle. Like, I've been to Haiti myself. I've seen it. Persons who born, raised, grow up, you know, with a particular lifestyle, and nobody have ever told them, inform them, educate them, teach them that, guess what? This is not the way you're supposed to be doing it. And then they come here, they have the same mentality. They find up shanty town. Oh, this looks like back home. Okay, it's cool. The Bahamian community, lazy slack, let us do it. Okay, so it is cool. So then, you know, coupled in with the fact that they haven't learned better from home, they come here, they meet it here, no other Haitians are telling them, but it ain't right. The Bahamian community is allowing it, and then the people everybody has rent. the natural instinct to survive. I mean, we have Bahamians that are living in China. Yeah, I've now. seen a few Bahamians. Bah Bah we're not talking about Bahamians of Haitian descent. We have Bahamian Bahamians living inside these shanty towns, too. So it's a very complex problem. But if you uh, hear that Bahamians detest this behavior, this mentality, this high level of disorder and this inhygienic behavior. You don't blame Bahamians for that, right? No, no. You, you, but you, do you they hear that though? You, you, you can't. Do the, do, do the Haitian community or the persons in that, them, those shanty towns really hear that and get that message? Do they really get that message is my question. I, again, I'm an expert at being a Haitian, so I can tell you, for the most part, there's no running water, no electricity. They're not really listening or watching news. They're not going to read the newspaper. Half of them probably can't read it anyway. So we're complaining on our side or talking about it on Bahamian radio, TV, newspapers. They're not really getting that message. Mm -hmm. We're not utilizing Haitian leaders to go in with us as Bahamians to say, look, here, let's teach these people, inform them, and show them the right way and say, buddy, this won't last. We need to do something about this. We're not utilizing the Haitian Bahamians or the Bahamians of Haitian descent, who we know out there, who can bridge that gap for us, who can break the ice for us. Let's utilize, let's, let's go about this thing strategically. Professor Tinker and I were in the Shanty Towns today. When they saw Professor Tinker and, and, and Professor Aris, Aaron, huh? they were scared. Wow, they came, this is all this stuff. I know, speaking in Creole to them, they care. this is what we're here to do. We come to talk, to see, to assess, so that when we go and we speak, we know what exactly we're talking about. These are my friends, boom, boom, all that stuff. Ice broken. They comfortable they because happy. I was there. I'm a Bahamian because I'm from Haitian descent and I can speak the language. They're comfortable now. You should see the, the way they flock around Professor yeah, Tinker. They're, so many you know, they're chilling, they're talking, they're laughing, they're ready to take pictures, they this, they that. And he was able to tell them, okay, look here, you can't be having too much children and that sort of stuff. And, you know, she can understand that. Yeah, you see but, what I'm saying? But all I'm saying, to, suggesting to you both, is that the average Bahamian can be forgiven for that his fare. Right. That what we are experiencing is the Haitianization of Bahamian culture mm -hmm. and the, 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 the growth of a behavior mm -hmm. that is anti-Bahamian. So you think... The, you, 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 you think the Bahamians are worried about a Haitianization of their own culture? Absolutely. By what landmark? 
How far? By, 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 the, by the proliferation of, 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 of Haitians in mm -hmm. the Bahamas, um, the peasants, right. by, by the proliferation of the, the shanty towns in our country. But the All shanty right? towns case... The shanty towns have been allowed to develop. Bahamian owners own this land collecting money. You don't think we should punish them? Yes. These Bahamian yes. slumlords. Yes. On yes. national TV, I'm yes. saying this. Yes. <laughs> They're collecting $25 to $50 per shanty house. Yes. But, but because you have a slum landlord, right. doesn't mean that you should live in a slumish I environment. Agree. I agree. But I see that. You should out. try to extricate yourself from that environment. And, and when you are in Rome, you should do as the Romans do. I agree. And I call this the case of something I said, even in the U.S is contention. They get content with their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Man, right. I'm only paying $100 a month. Where I can go live like that? Right. I'll just deal with the light off, deal with no water, and live like that. And that's what I addressed to Luby. I said, these people have to rise up. Don't be content with your lifestyle and rise up and do the right thing. Right. And I discussed today that they should group together, uh, form a coalition, and try to help each other out and move out. What? Petition the government and somehow. The, the, the Ministry of Housing or the Department of Housing should have a certain standard of how you live in the society in the Bahamas. And quite frankly, outside toilets should be outlawed in the Bahamas. This was taken by the Department of Environmental Health of yes. the Bahamas. Yes, I've seen the They report. went in the shanty towns. I've seen the report. They documented it. Yes. Why has the government not stepped in and say, you cannot have this unregulated septic tank. You cannot have a septic tank 10 feet from a yes. well where you're drinking water. Yes. Where is the government on this? Yes. What? Negligence again? Inefficiency. And Inefficiency. Yes. And that's why I said early in the show, with hope, change, accountability, the government must will be efficient. You have to change who's running the country. When you have the politicization of the economy of the Bahamas as we have today, right? where uh, in order for you to be re-elected, you have to behave a certain way so, and speak a certain way. So holding these people down, no MP is going to come to the test you, to be an advocate for the Haitian you, people. They're scared of this. You need the votes. Exactly. You need the votes of Luby judges and others. See, Luby Georges is a Bahamian. I told Luby Georges he needs to go and do Asian this. descent. Uh -huh. But Luby Georges has an influence in the Haitian community. Right. He can go in there and speak Creole. You, 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 no, you, I, you I, can. I, I can. Maybe a little Spanish. And so, and so we, 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 we <laughs> pander. We pander to the Luby, Luby Georges of the world. Right. That's what politicians do. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And use them. And use them. And I told him today he should be the voice for the Haitian people. And I said, if you can galvanize enough votes, go ahead and run and try to make some change. Hope, yes. change, and, accountability and, equals efficiency. And you know what they would say of Luby Georges? What they'll tell him? See where this Haitian fella go. Exactly. <laughs> even though, even though he is Bahamian. Mm -hmm. It's a He's Bahamian. Now, Luby Georges can get away because a little he, light skin. he little light skin. <laughs> right? Because of the hue of his skin. <laughs> but if, Lu if, if, if Luby George Judges was a little darker, <laughs> PZA, he would have been he rough. Judge. He would have trouble. He would have trouble. But he need to use his... So we, we're back to phobia again. He yeah. need to use his light skin to his advantage to help the dark PZ head people out. <laughs> um, do you see progress? I do see progress. To be honest, um, right now, the Haitian community has a lot of avenues and this is what I'm talking about earlier about you know educating and informing these persons there's a lot of avenues to educate the Haitian communities now you know by utilizing you know the Haitian churches there's a pastors associations with about 89 registered Haitian churches all of that good stuff mm -hmm. you know there are many Haitian or straight Creole speaking talk shows out there you know there are mediums there are ways for us to educate and inform these people and say okay well guess what this is the way we do things here in the Bahamas and I try to do that myself. I tell Haitians, you know, you can't be doing this. You can't be doing that. Yes, we can speak on your behalf on certain things where the government may discriminate or you may have a problem this way or that way. But at the same time, you bring a lot of this on yourself. You know, you, bring, you, you don't respect yourself. You can't expect someone to respect you. Exactly. Uh, let me, uh, I have seen uh, 
on Haitian Flag Day in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. What appears to be thousands of cars. Man, too. Plenty. With the Haitian flag. Mm -hmm. And that is offensive to many Bahamians, you know. Jamaican, why? Why? Why is J it? J Jamaican Day also. Because, because they believe that if you say, Luby Judges, that you are Bahamian, that if you are flying the Haitian flag, you should also fly the Bahamian flag. <laughs> well, then, I can't speak for people. I see what you, where you're coming I, from. I, I see it that. sometimes. Patriotism. I, I totally believe in that. That's yeah. why I mean, yes. wherever there's yeah. a Haitian flag, for me, on Haitian flag day, there's always a Bahamian flag. Yes. At, at flag day, I had a friend of mine, a female friend of mine, who went to flag day with me. Mm -hmm. I told her, intentionally, wear a Bahamian shirt. Mm -hmm. So while we were together, it was always the Haitian flag and the Bahamian flag now, together at Haitian Flag Day because I was a part of the committee also. Now everywhere that we had a Haitian flag, there was a Bahamian flag. I think it was an off number, so it was a, the Bahamian flag a was always ended up in the now, middle. Now my my position on that, and being in the U.S., being of born in the Bahamas and naturalized in the U.S., I never flew a Bahamian flag or anything to do with the Bahamas while in the U.S. I was a patriot to the country while I was there. And we have flag days for many countries in the mm -hmm. US. I don't believe in that. I think if you migrate to a country, you should assimilate and be a patriot to the country you're living in. Mm -hmm. Keep your culture in your house and everything will be good. There's many Americans don't like it either. And that uh, is the problem. The, pro the problem that, that- But is there nothing wrong the problem, with having it? The, I'm just the saying. The problem that many Bahamians have of, of, of uh, young Haitian, Haitians in the Bahamas or Haitian slash Bahamians, if mm -hmm. there's such a thing, is that they seem not to want to be properly assimilated. I guess they're so close to the slogan, which I was introducing them to a Bob Marley song, saying, I can't take the slogan anymore. They're so close to that slogan, Haitian, Haitian, Haitian. Well, put up a Haitian flag, take it down, be Bahamian. I mean, like, right. what do I do? As a Bahamian <laughs> in the U.S., you're not, you're not flying a Bahamian I flag. I would not do it. I, I right. was in the Army. I would but, not but, do but, it. But they would have the audacity in the thousands of them, to fly the, the Haitian flag without the presence of a Bahamian flag. Well, I and that is what many Bahamians find. But a lot of them, uh, a lot of them, firstly, don't know proper flag etiquette. A lot of them also. We gotta, they, blame, we gotta blame you because you. No, no, you gotta blame me. I, I'm doing my job now. You're in charge of the committee. I, I, you're the committee. No, but, but with us, we tell them what proper flag etiquette is. We tell them, like, you know, fly your Bahamian flag with Haitian flag. We do that. But everything is documented, so you can go back and check what Luby Georges and, and, and the committee had to say in regards to that. Now, these persons are Haitians. There's nothing wrong with celebrating your heritage in another man's land. I mean, we as Bahamians, we do it everywhere in the United States. We, man just told you he doesn't fly the Bahamian flag. But that's him. Well, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't, that's I don't, him, I don't, but I don't that doesn't mean that, that, that doesn't mean that the I Bahamians who celebrate independence in Atlanta, in Miami, in Washington, that they're wrong for celebrating no, it, no, because no, we no, do. No, no, we're but not then saying that's that him. they're wrong. That's him. But, but they are not going around uh, Washington but, or New York but, flying but, the Bahamian flag on their cars without uh, the no, presence they, of an American Exactly, but guess what? I think the Prime Minister was that young DC man doing Jogano. Okay, he understands, he knows. Proper flag etiquette and how to deal with the situation. Some of them, they don't know. Some of our own Bahamian Bahamians don't even know. Okay, so, so let me, let me again, ask you something. If we, at every turn, these persons, they, they bend this corner, you say, hey, you're a Haitian. You turn this way, you're Haitian. Hey, don't forget you're Haitian. <laughs> we keep telling them this and that. The minute they stand up and say, I'm a Haitian, what is this young person talking about? Why they don't this? Why no, they don't that? They, they should develop your attitude. And your attitude is that you are Bahamian. Right. You are properly assimilated. Yes. You, you say that you are Bahamian nationalist. You are patriotic, even though you recognize your roots in Haiti. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's why I always celebrate Flag Day. That's commendable. I won't stop celebrating Haitian yeah. Flag Day. But, 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 but before the show, let me ask you something. What, is, what do you think in general? What is the patriotism on a scale from 1 to 10 for, Bahamian, for Haitians that are not, I guess, residencies or Bahamians that are citizens? Well, what's the scale on 1 to 10 on the patriotism to the Bahamas? What do you think? Probably, probably halfway, to be honest. So they're, they're in the middle? Yeah, it's in the middle because we got some Haitian issues to deal with, and then we got some stuff on the Bahamian side to deal with. So, so these people in the middle, and they lost. They're 50% patriot. Yeah. So we have a lot of work to do, eh? Plenty of work to do. All Plenty right. of work to do. You have to come back more often on this show. <laughs> Plenty, man. I mean, whenever you want to invite me, man. I yeah. like your energy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so very much. You, he, he has abandoned us, and he's living in the States. No, so no, no. I, 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 you will see me here a lot. You will see me here a lot. I definitely plan to make the, the, the move back, because like I said, I think 2017 is going to be a major move 
and be him in history, and I want to be a part of some of these books. Good. Thank you so, so very much for being here. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for the invitation. It. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you for watching and listening to our program today. We hope you enjoyed it. Good evening, everyone.